The Divine Masculine feels twin flame love differently. And in this podcast video, we are going to talk about it. We are going to discuss how the Divine Masculine experiences the twin flame love connection differently than the Divine Feminine. But before I get into this podcast, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Also, before we get started, I want to share with you the most powerful tool that I've personally used and now that I share with others to completely reprogram your mind, magnetize yourself for your desires, and attract what you want out of life, love, career, and really just your physical reality in general. And these are subliminals. Subliminals are powerful sound therapy tools because they are affirmations embedded within other meditation sounds and frequencies that bypass the conscious filter of the mind, making deep lasting impressions on the subconscious mind which is so powerful because it's actually the subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts and therefore is essentially the strongest factor in our energy field in determining what we attract or repel in and out of our lives. So as you can see on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts, for money and success, for love and relationships, and so much more. So be sure to explore around my subliminal site, soundandsoulful.com by clicking the link in the pinned comment and description box under this video. You can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website. So now let's dive right into how the Divine Masculine feels twin flame love differently. The first thing I want to say about this or make clear is the love connection between twin flames is taking place on two levels. The bond between twin flames is energetic first. This is the first and the primary level, so to speak. However, layered over this eternal energetic bond between twins is the physical, meaning the conscious 3D thoughts and emotions that we consciously experience of love connection. So while the energetic bond is unbreakable and unchangeable between twin flames, so in essence, on the energy level, the masculine and the feminine twin flame, both counterparts, are feeling the intensity of the bond, the intensity of the connection and the love that exists, that pre-exists even this lifetime really pre-exists and predates all the way back to the very origin of our soul. However, with that being said, the way in which the twin flame counterparts, the masculine and the feminine consciously experience this deep soul bond at the conscious level can be different. And that is what we are going to talk about in this podcast Sometimes I find that speaking with beautiful divine feminine twin flames, many of them tend to fall into this kind of fear-based mentality thinking of what if the divine masculine in my connection isn't feeling or reciprocating the love that I feel for them. And if you are one of those beautiful divine feminines experiencing these thoughts or fears, know that you aren't alone in this. What is happening is you are 
questioning what the masculine is feeling because although he is equally connected in with and parts of this soul bond you share, he is consciously experiencing the connection in a different way. So the first way the divine masculine tends to experience the twin flame connection and the love, the attraction aspect of this connection specifically different from the divine feminine is that very often, not always, but very often the way the masculine consciously interprets his initial feelings of pull, of attraction to the divine feminine is in a very physical way. Now I'm using that word interprets because of course the masculine is not exclusively physically attracted to the feminine meaning. The attraction he feels for her is something that exists that pulls him through all the chakra centers, through all of his energy body, not just those lower energy centers, those root chakra, sacral chakra, what we traditionally associate with more sensual, physical attraction. But of course, he is also connected in with and therefore attracted to the feminine through those higher level chakra centers that are considered more spiritual through the intuition, through the soul, the crown chakra, the divine connection he feels with the feminine. But first and foremost, consciously, the masculine will feel strongly physically attracted to the divine feminine. Now, his conscious mind will think that this attraction is him being attracted to something about her physical appearance. Maybe it's her body. Maybe it's the way she carries herself. Very often, the masculine will think, I just must be very attracted to something about her or it's something physical. But in actuality, the masculine here, even through these feelings of physical attraction, what he's really attracted to about the divine feminine is her energy. It's just that very often he doesn't realize that truth. And this is something, these feelings of attraction are something that the masculine can feel even through a screen, even if they are oceans apart, geographical distance, and even physical presence, meaning this masculine could feel the attraction even over text message, even if they're calling and he can't even see the feminine, he will still feel this very literal, tangible, physical pull and attraction. Now, of course, this isn't to say the divine feminine can't or doesn't feel the physical attraction to the masculine in the beginning. It's just that the masculine tends to feel this in a very overwhelming way. It tends to be very dominant for them. And I know there will be some people listening through some of these signs thinking, is that how my masculine is actually experiencing our connection because he hasn't communicated that, he hasn't been vocal about that. And if that is the case for you, another thing to remember about masculine energy is very often they are silent about what they are feeling. They have difficulty putting into words the intensity emotionally, spiritually, physically of what they are feeling for the feminine. So just because your masculine hasn't vocalized these feelings doesn't mean it's not something they have experienced. And even at times, if or when the masculine does run from the connection or potentially reject or deny the connection with his words, Regardless, that physical pull, that physical attraction to the feminine will always be there beneath the surface. The second way the divine masculine feels twin flame love differently is they feel a love that is so vulnerable, so open, but open isn't really the right describing word because it's more of a verb than a noun. It is opening him up. It is breaking him open. And because of this, because of the vulnerability and the openness of this love out of fear, the masculine will often try to 
really dismiss these feelings of love with some form of logic. He will try to logic his way out of what he is feeling for the divine feminine. Of course, ultimately this does not work. It cannot work because as we said at the beginning, the soul bond here between twin flames is unbreakable and unchangeable, but the masculine at times may try to somehow overlay logic and try to literally logic his way, reason his way out of what he is feeling, but to no avail. The third way, and this really leads me into everything we were just talking about leads into this third way the masculine feels the connection differently, is that even in those moments when he does try to run away from the connection, try to push the feminine away, or try to deny or reject the connection in some way, he is absolutely incapable of escaping the divine feminine meaning he can't escape his thoughts of her very often the 5d communication he feels from her the dreams he has about her the flashes of visions he has of being with her and specifically the masculine will often have this feeling if he does try to remain connected romantically with others or he does try to date or connect romantically with others after meeting the divine feminine in the physical he will find himself searching for her or pieces of her in every person he meets thereafter and ultimately everything in his life always seems to be leading him straight back to where his heart truly is back to the divine feminine counterpart in the physical the fourth way the masculine can experience twin flame love differently is the way in which he expresses that love so very often the divine feminine is kind of the queen of the upper chakra centers early on in the connection because of course the ultimate goal here is total integration and through that integration process we also clear out blocks from other chakra centers as well but we do tend to have these initial strengths proclivities as twins when it comes to stronger and weaker energy centers in our body and in general the divine feminine has a stronger upper chakra kind of energy so she has a stronger throat chakra energy she is more vocal more communicative more in tune with her own inner voice she is more intuitive in general than the masculine initially she has a more open third eye chakra she has a more open crown chakra so she is more consciously aware of the divinity of the connection this means that she often is very articulate and eloquent at putting into words what she is feeling for the masculine the spiritual connection that she feels with the masculine to communicate that and some divine feminines because of this may even be moved by the love they feel with their masculine counterpart to create to create artwork to create music or poetry or to write to express themselves and really to express this love they are feeling in some kind of a creative endeavor in contrast to this the masculine tends to dominate those more so lower chakra centers have stronger lower chakra energy so the root chakra the sacral chakra the solar plexus chakra they tend to radiate a stronger confidence a stronger kind of physically oriented energy in the beginning than the divine feminine and because of this regardless of whether the masculine verbalizes this or not the love he feels for the divine feminine will inspire him in his work his 3d physical work in this lifetime whether that is him aiming at a more a better suited or better paying career 
him trying to get his life together in some sense more on the physical plane Very often, the love he feels for the feminine will motivate him to want to create more 3D and material abundance and stability within his life. And this is also why in cases where the masculine feels as though he can't provide that kind of material structure, stability for his divine feminine counterparts, Very often in these cases, the masculine will seem to push the feminine away, to go cold on the connection, to kind of pull away. And this can be confusing from the perspective of the feminine, but what's going on here is the masculine is very often pulling away because he wants to present himself and present this kind of life with her that is full of this material stability and structure and a kind of a kind of material support that he can fully offer the feminine so when he feels he's not capable of doing that in the moment it will very often cause him to kind of get this sort of triggered feeling of i want to give you what i know that you deserve however i don't feel i'm ready to do that and so now I am pulling away in this kind of preparation for our future, but like with all of these things on the side of the masculine, much of this goes unsaid. It doesn't get fully verbalized. So I still have so much more to say on this, but this video is approaching 20 minutes and I do want to do more of these shorter podcast style videos. So let me know if you'd like a part two on this video for more ways the masculine experiences twin flame love differently. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Join our beautiful community of conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these different kind of signs, the masculine experiences. And I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day.